Anyone that's trying to promote a particular diet or lifestyle has to have something going for them to build a following, whether it's their educational credentials, their attractiveness, how they look, their physique, whatever it may be. Credibility in one of these aspects is necessary. Unfortunately, in these young vegan women, their youth and beauty is being used to misguide young girls who are in key developmental stages of their life. This causes malnutrition, damage in the long term, and this is what I have a specific problem with. A young girl that's following a starvation diet or even a young man who's taking steroids and promoting a certain workout, these are big issues that we see on YouTube in particular. People that are taking advantage of either their genetics or certain stages in their life to give poor advice. I mean, we see this with doctors too, but uh, that's a whole different story. Let's see what this young lady has in store for us today. Good morning, guys. This morning, I woke up probably about half an hour ago. I haven't eaten or anything. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of an at-home workout, as you guys have probably seen in our other vlogs, maybe on the Kyle and Maddie channel, I'm not sure. We discovered we have a bar. So I need to get my back back into shape because my pull-up game is weak. AF. My pull-up <laughs> game. I used to be able to do four pull-ups easy no band and now I'm like struggle city right now and it makes me sad that like I've lost some strength but I mean we go through ups and downs with everything especially with training and I think a lot of people get really like upset about this as if they like lose progress or like for me like I've been traveling I haven't been consistent in the gym and like it's been weird to have so much upper body strength and now I'm kind of like losing it but I think it's good and it's challenging me to like build more strength just doing body weight exercises and I'm really loving it and I'm really stoked that I have a bar and that I'm actually gonna be able to practice pull-ups. So yeah, I'm doing just a little bit of a back workout. I I have already posted the full um, workout on my MadFit Instagram so if you want to check out everything that I did, it'll be linked in the description down below. Um, and also I'm gonna work, I'm gonna do a little bit of calf raises and possibly a little ab workout just out here because it's a beautiful day right now. Like, it's windy, there's a nice breeze, there's sunshine, it's gonna be a good day, guys. Oh, there's the belly ring. Gotta show it off. If you guys haven't seen my recent Carnivore Goes Vegan video, this is where I got that from. It's market day, which means use up all of your bananas, freeze them all, because we're about to get some new ones. Got some apple bananas in there. This is acai. 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 Almond milk. That's almond milk in there. Foam. Foam. Pitch of man. We're going to do a scoop of banana cinnamon perform. This might actually be my new flavor. My new flavor. My new flavor? favorite flavor. <laughs> my new favorite flavor. But actually. Vanilla so has always been like my go-to, but this is just so good. The banana cinnamon protein is a little bit more sweet than the other ones. Like the vanilla is a little bit more mild, it's not as sweet. But this one just works really well in smoothies. I don't know, it's really good. When you start talking about fruit smoothies not being sweet, I think we have a bigger issue here. 
Vegans are very good at camouflaging their sugar addiction by playing music at intervals throughout the video. Uh, I mean, this does add a sort of childish element in there that fits in perfectly with their vegan lifestyle. The second thing is the lighting. You ever notice how vegans never film inside at night? They're always filming in daylight or like perfect lighting. It's because they would look emaciated as they are. And it might actually wake people up that a vegan diet is not a good look. I mean, you know, Frankie Boy would look like a Roman statue in that lighting. And these vegans are barely looking healthy. The loss of muscle mass that she mentioned, not being able to do as many pull-ups, slowly but surely, she will degrade over time and lose muscle mass on a vegan diet. Uh, the B12 deficiency, depending on your genes, takes a couple years to really take its toll. And in regards to what she actually ate in that smoothie, the acai, the banana, pretty much sugar, no significant vitamin content there. The phytates in the almond milk, uh, phytates, aka phytic acid, bind to minerals, take them out of the body. Uh, not too big of a deal if the meal doesn't have any minerals, right? And that protein powder, though, has probably anywhere between 40 and 50 ingredients. I have done a full analysis on vegan protein in the past. Uh, I'm not doing that this time, but basically every single one of those ingredients has pros and cons, and 20 to 30 of those aren't things you should be putting in your body. Uh, so in regards to a health perspective, we're not good. Kyle has already edited his video this morning. Yes, I have. The vlog for the Kyle and Maddie channel, so that's gonna go up today. What are we doing that morning? Oh yeah, we went to the beach. Oh yeah, I broke down our travel expenses. So if you wanna know how much money we spent in six months of travel, go check it out. I was thinking I might do a kind of similar video on my channel, just talking about like all the places that we've been to in the past three years and like, I don't know, giving more of a breakdown and like, I don't know, if you guys have any questions or any ideas for that kind of video, let me know down below. If you want to see it, let me know. Yeah. Also, girl is breaking out on her neck today. I know. Girl. You don't got to tell me in the comments. <laughs> um, I just, I don't care anymore. Like I, I will come on camera with zero makeup and be completely transparent. And it feels liberating, let me tell you, to have the camera this close and be like, yeah, I got pimples. Also, a lot of people like to like, kind of diagnose it in the comments. Like, oh, if you just cut out this, it'll go away, you cut out that. Like, Maddie's literally tried everything and it's not food, it's hormones. Yeah. And I mean, I understand where people are coming from when they're like, it's yeah. just nut butter for me, cut out help, nut butter, but cut like out it, soy, like and I'm just like, said, we've tried everything. yeah, I've cut out nut butter, I've cut out soy for over a year, absolutely nothing's changed, it's all hormonal, and I have tracked it down to the very days, like, I know when I'm going to break out, and so why I'm breaking home, out. Yeah, so when we go home, I am going to get my hormones tested, I'm going to do a saliva spit test, get the most accurate form of hormone testing, and start figuring out how to rebalance my hormones, because for those of you that don't know, I was on the birth control pill for four and a half years. Ever since I've come off the pill, I have had wacky hormones, really painful periods. I even had that before I went on the pill, before I was even vegan. Um, I've dealt with acne my entire life. I've been on acne medication, so when I get home, I'm, that's going to be my focus is just really diving deep into my hormonal health and getting that under control, and I have no doubts that that's going to help clear up my skin because this adult acne, it's all hormones, you know, breaking out on the neck. That ain't from soy. That ain't from nut butter. Maybe this is from eating out too much processed foods but you know I just don't care anymore and I just I eat all the same things and I don't get any acne so yeah it's not like it's a food although it can be for some people because they have food intolerances but yeah I don't know I wasn't even going to talk about that in this video but I just like every video I post now it's like what happened to your skin <laughs> what's wrong I got acne and I just have stopped wearing makeup because I've decided to not be insecure about it because so many people have freaking acne and it's normal 
And I just want to feel okay with being barefaced and talking to you guys, so. And we're trying to fix it without salmon and eggs. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to fix it no, without sorry. eating salmon or right. eggs. <laughs> Quote me on that one. <laughs> what do you mean by you're not insecure anymore? You mean you're no longer going to lie to your viewers about your appearance to promote your wacko diet? The arrogance here is unsettling. Uh, him complaining about people diagnosing it in the comments and saying that she tried everything is comical because then she goes to say, oh, it's hormones. You know what precursors to hormones are? Fat and cholesterol. You know what's not present in the vegan diet? cholesterol and saying that you tried everything when you're still on a vegan diet i mean obviously makes no sense because you didn't try everything but this is a pattern that we've seen literally in the past two weeks ravana raw alignment all of these young vegan women had hormone related issues they went to a doctor the doctor told them to eat meat but these young vegan women know so much so they say oh no the doctor's wrong they continue trying everything until their health is so deteriorated that they force themselves to eat meat. And him saying that he eats the same things and doesn't have acne, did he also tell you that his dick no longer works, that he's on a vegan diet? Whether it's a year from now, three, four, five, six, seven years from now, this young lady will be doing one of two things. On a vegan diet, looking like a ghoul, no longer being able to promote her crazy lifestyle because of her appearance or eating animal products. Either way, in the end, unfortunately, vegans lose. And it's not about being right. It's not about being wrong, even though they're wrong. She's taking hundreds of thousands of people on this crazy ride with her. Anyways, I'm going to finish my smoothie and then we're going to have some pancakes. All right, so we've got the pancake mix. We got the pancakes on the grill. This they, they, they literally eat like children. This is if I had a two-year-old kid that was addicted so to sugar. Good. This is what he would eat every day. Well, and all you have to do is add water. This one is vegan. They have like keto and paleo. It's ones vegan. Eggs in them. But if you find these ones or this one, there's no eggs. Vegan. And you should okay. try it because they're dang good. That was disgusting. <laughs> for breakfast. It was either this or I was going to make my breakfast cookies with chocolate. At chips. least acknowledge you burnt them. I will take pancakes. I love pancakes. But vegans aren't used to being wrong, so what are you going to do? Fix my hair before I talk. What? You have a hat on. No, you. Oh, I always fix my hair. It's because I have a nervous habit. I always touch my hair when I get like, when I'm about to do something or like get nervous. It just like, I play with my hair. I've done it since I was a little girl. You still get nervous before you talk to everyone on YouTube? No, it's just like, I'm about to like do something and like. She said it's a nervous habit. It's not like a nervous habit. It's just like a thing that I do. I don't um. know. Anyways, we are in the car, as you can see. We are going to Kapa'a. We are going to the Kapa'a market because it's Wednesday, farmer's market day. And we're actually gonna stop at the grocery store first before we go to the market and pick up a few things that we need. And then I think we're gonna go to the beach and go for a swim because it's an absolutely beauty day out. There's no clouds in the sky. We had a full week of rain like the first week that we were here. So it's been real nice to have some sunshine, eh? Hey, Bubba. Absolutely. <laughs> it's funny when I call you Bubba because I just think Bubba. of the dog. <laughs> Bubba. It's okay, Bubba. <laughs> Bubba hates us. So we're a little bit early before the market starts, so we thought we would stop by Kawaii Juice Co. Because I have a gift card. We're going to get some juice. What is that, $15 worth of juice? Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. 
All right, so we've got a green bottle juice, which is pineapple, cucumber, kale, cilantro, and lemon. This is a unicorn rainbow juice, beet, carrot, pineapple, kale, chard, blueberry, and lemon. Delish. Better than the juices I make at home. <laughs> I'm sure it is. They know like the ratio of... Yeah, of course. Fruit to veg. They got it And that's a pretty up. like, that's a pretty unique combo. Mmm. Tastes like unicorns and rainbows. Alright, we're off to the bank. Take out some cash for the market. And then we're off to Hoku Foods. I mean, I probably wouldn't have eaten at this point in my day, and she's already eaten several times. The, the blood sugar fluctuations up and down, you know, plant foods aren't too available to the digestive system, so she's constantly craving calories. This is why vegans eat so much. It, it's unfortunate that there's this conventional wisdom that fruits and veggies are so good for you, yet if you actually pressed someone to explain the nutrient profile of a fruit or a vegetable and what the availability of the vitamins and minerals were, they wouldn't be able to tell you. Do you like my singing? Hoku foods. <laughs> Kyle's a much better singer than I am. You're actually good at singing. Am I? You never told me that before. Well, I think you're like pretty decent. You don't like suck at singing, that's for sure. I'm all right. I don't think I suck at singing either, but I think you're better. I think everyone wants to hear me do music covers. Maybe I'll cover I'm... Ariana Grande. <laughs> on, our, <laughs> on our no the first time that I came to like hang out at your house you played the guitar and sang One Direction because I was obsessed with One Direction I was like oh, he knows me I just wanted you to like me I hated One Direction <laughs> I'm kidding <laughs> Uh, kale, how much is kale? Two for five. Yeah. Three dollars. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. We got a cacao fruit. We've never tried that before. Oh, yeah. Should be interesting. Oh, yeah, I've got cafe. I just want to get all the chocolate. We got what we needed. Got some papayas, bananas. Kale, sweet, yeah. avocado, cucumber, and yeah, zucchini. Yeah. I do feel bad here at you know how bad she looks and how misguided she is, but the fact that she's influencing so many people is is really the only reason I have to speak up. Uh, the, the interesting thing I notice here is you know when these vegans go to farmers markets or supermarkets, even just the average person in general going to a supermarket. It becomes very apparent how our modern world has made food so accessible. And when I look at things in the supermarket, I think, how did that get here? You know, what's what's the step in the process? Did someone have to, you know, grow it, pick it, ship it? You know, how did it get from point A to point B? And how practical is it to be buying that food? You know, if you buy a steak, okay, you roast an animal, you slaughter the animal, you cut it up, you ship it out. Now, that's one food, and the more foods you incorporate into your lifestyle, the more unrealistic it is. Uh, among vegans, though, we notice that vegans eat the same 30, 40, 50 foods that they would never really be able to obtain in a practical environment. Got his bean fields chips. We came to the beach. I'm a happy camper.
recording. She goes from complaining about her acne, hormonal issues, to, oh, happy, sexy, hot on the beach, boyfriend, perfect life. This portrayal of an ideal lifestyle is misguiding everyone. This is what's wrong with these vegans. They're, it's, it's, it doesn't, it's like, oh, I'm having all these health issues, nah, 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 nah. but oh, look how happy and healthy. And it's, it's, it's completely contradictory. It doesn't, it, psychotic behavior. Oh, well, that was fun. Nice little quick ocean tip. <laughs> Kyle's, it was fun. Kyle's hair is like growing really long. I'm telling him that he should Fast. grow his hair long because I really like when his hair is long. I met him when his hair was long. <laughs> oh, well, that was fun. Nice little quick ocean tip. <laughs> Kyle's, it was fun. Kyle's hair is like growing really long. I'm telling him that he should Fast. grow his hair long because I really like when his hair is long. I met him when his hair was long. Um, yeah, it was a really great ocean dip. I really needed the ocean is my happy place if y'all haven't haven't heard that before, but I just feel so good when I'm in the ocean. It just makes me feel makes like me feel what? like happy. <laughs> I just feel like all my worries, all my stresses are gone. The washed away by the waves. Is that cheesy enough or what? It was vegan cheesy. All right, I'm going back home. I'm gonna make some food. Cause I didn't really have lunch. Those pancakes were uh, pretty filling. They were really filling. I, mean, I, I had like ten. I had like five. I had six. Six. Uh, no, I had seven. I had seven small I think, pancakes. I think I had twelve then. Yeah, we made a lot of pancakes. Um, but I was quite full, and I didn't really feel like having lunch before we left. And then we just had those juices and. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go home, make an early dinner, and yeah. This is not a swan. Swan, swan, swan. song. So dumb. Like, Have you guys heard mean? that song? Swan song? I think it's hilarious. Swan song, swan song, swan dive. <laughs> <laughs> this food volume thing ties into the nutrient availability of plant food versus animal food. These vegans are eating incredibly high volumes of food, yet they're still eating five, six, seven times a day. It's really crazy the amount of food they put in their body compared to someone like a carnivore dieter. It's complete opposites. What Have you guys that heard mean? that song? Swan song? I think it's hilarious. Swan song, swan song, swan dive. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we're back home and I'm just whipping up some potato nachos. We've got some mashed avocado here, some veggies, we've got cherry tomatoes, cucumber, chopped bell pepper, we've got some quinoa here. These are the sliced potatoes that I've baked in the oven. They got a little crispy, but I've got more coming as well. This is actually a can. How much food? Amy's How chili, much food do you need to eat? Like the brand Amy's. <laughs> and I'm going to add the quinoa to this and kind of make it like a quinoa. She's chili acting like she has a big I cooking for the past four really hours. Quick and easy, but also something really filling to put on. Quick top and easy. <laughs> of my potato nachos. So I'm going to whip that up. Whip right. it up, yeah. Real quick. Whip it up real quick. 19 different foods. Oh, we got the belly ring is back. All right. That makes it okay. <laughs> I'm going to get a belly ring for my next Carnivore Goes Vegan video. Is, is, this, is this arts and crafts? We really are children, potato. aren't we? Nachos. I actually have a recipe for these in my What I Eat for Life ebook. Um, the recipe is a little bit different, but basically all you do is um, bake potato circles and then you top them with whatever you want as little nachos. It's really good with like cashew sour cream and like um, cheese sauce and stuff, but this was just super quick and easy and delicious to make, so... Cashew Believe sour cream not, and cheese sauce. Had, hmm. like, regular Sounds like animal foods so to me. Long. I've been obsessed with sweet potatoes lately, so I've been eating lots of sweet potatoes. But 
These are these are the golden nuggets. The yellow potatoes are the best kinds of potatoes ever. This is so good. I'm like really hungry too right now, so that's probably why it tastes so good. I'm also probably gonna eat some something else um, later on tonight because I didn't really eat lunch today, so I'm definitely gonna be hungry after this. <laughs> She's already talking about her next meal. Those potatoes. She's already talking about her next meal. A lot more but, like She's not even done eating. Maybe. But it's only like seven something, and I'm not gonna go to bed for a few hours. So who knows? Might eat something else. Might have one yeah, of those raw hot chocolate. One of those Amy soups. Yeah, I was gonna make myself a little. How's it? Magic yeah. Someone logic. said, how's it raw if you're cooking it? The powder's raw for when you cook it. Vivo. Oh, it's just because it's a uh, raw cacao. But like you're heating it up. It's just hot chocolate made from raw ingredients. Ah. So yeah, I'm going to have one of those magic lattes and possibly a soup. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> so notes on that last meal, you know, no significant source of fat soluble vitamins. And this leads to the bigger issue. These vegans are consuming diets clearly deficient in vitamins and minerals, yet there was no mention here of supplements, macronutrients, micronutrients, any sort of thing indicating a care for health and nutrition. So I, to me, it's like, what kind of dimension are we living in? These people are promoting a diet and lifestyle, but they're not talking about the nutritional aspect of it and don't have an understanding of the nutritional aspect of it. It's, to me, none of this makes any sense. Well, we'll see, boys and girls. Anyone want to place a bet on how long Miss Limburner will last on the vegan diet? Let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and share the video. If you guys do want to support me, check out some of the other YouTube videos on my channel. If you want to go a step further, down below in the comments is my Patreon. That's a great way to get personalized question support. My workout routine is also on there. My Amazon shop has a bunch of supplements like iodine, vitamin D3, and some cooking stuff I use in my day-to-day -day life. If you guys want to join the carnivore community, carnivoreforum.com. I have a Discord on my channel under the about page and also the perfected health podcast is something I recently started doing some really great information on there uh, really promoting the nutrient density of animal foods and how we can become the perfected versions of ourselves if you guys do want to reach out to me for one on one consultations you can shoot me an email frank a tofano at gmail.com or contact me through the form on my website below frank-tofano.com you guys enjoy the rest of the weekend